My name's Johnny Meatballs. I'm from Woodridge, New Jersey, and uh, I'm a street vendor. I sell meatballs all around Jersey. I grew up in an Italian-American household. My grandmother, my mother, it was always meatballs every Sunday. And it kind of was a natural thing for me to sell meatballs because that's what I knew best. Okay, got your meatball. You want any ricotta? No? Just plain? There you go, my big boy. You want something to drink? Okay. So my recipe for my uh, meatballs, it's kind of a combination of my both grandmothers and my mom's. And I got my own little twists in there, my own little touches. I gotta type something in the office, okay, Chris? You eat your meatballs. I started my Johnny Meatballs business right around 2008. Right around that period, it was kind of a meatball explosion in America. Right after, you know, cupcakes and burgers came the whole meatball thing. So there were quite a few meatball cooks popping up and meatball restaurants, of course, meatball shop in New York City. One of my first gigs was actually in uh, Philadelphia. I had a, a little meatball and gravy competition with, with a gal uh, by the name of Lorraine. She had written a book called Gravy Wars. And this was the first time I was out in the streets with the public and having the, the public try my food in that way. And from there, I just, I fell in love with the idea of being out in the streets. I think that when you are a street vendor selling your food outside, in the elements, rain, snow, you name it, that's really the best way to connect with your public, with the people. And every time folks come to my stand, I, I want to give them an experience, like their home with their family, feeling very comfortable. That's what it's all about to me. There has to be something that sets you apart from everyone else. So for me, it was a natural thing to create a character. And that's what Johnny Meatballs is. It's a character and it's a brand. And it comes with t-shirts that say, got balls on them, you know, funny phrases like that. And Meatball King of New Jersey. I make signs and banners. I do a lot of my marketing via Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. I have a lot of haters, as I call them, and stalkers, and people that want to keep me down and say bad things about me, because what happened was I received a nice level of notoriety by going on to a reality show on VH1 made by the producers of Jersey Shore. So right off the bat, people had preconceived notions about me that I was this wild kind of party animal that was promiscuous and violent and engaged in not so wholesome behavior. The idea that all young Italian Americans are, are these crazy people, it's not true. You take a group of, of young people and uh, put them in a shore house down the Jersey Shore, pay their way and give them booze and girls and whatever. It's gonna be a wild time. It doesn't matter if it's Italian American or Puerto Rican, Irish, Greek, Japanese, it doesn't matter. I am here to kind of change that perception. I'm not a young kid, but I'm not an old man either. I'm kind of like in the middle. I want to be the guy to bridge the gap between the real old generation and the young generation and kind of represent that every man, that regular Joe.